decided what I'm going to do at the seminar. So I said, I'm not going to see the play anyway, so why should I? But let's do a little exercise together as a group. We're all academics. Half of them are carrying their laptops. So I began with the question, what would we call a decent standard of living? A minimum requirements for human existence. I'm not talking about extravagance. We're not talking about three cars in the driveway. We're talking about minimum decent standards of living. Let's start putting it down. House, how many rooms? Roughly what area? So from that you can get the energy requirements, food, clothing, education. We, we did this as a live interactive exercise. We, by item by item, we were putting down what it can be converted into energy terms, resource terms. Everybody happy? Every, every now and then we would remind ourselves, we're not talking affluence. We're not talking, sorry, we're talking about minimum decent living. And okay, so this is for one family of an average size of four. Now let's look at the population of the Earth, which is roughly 7 billion. Let's extrapolate this to the requirements. And that's a shocker, but it's not possible. We don't have those resources on the planet. It's an absolute shocker. We simply don't have it for what you call minimum decent living by your standards. It's not available. The planet will evaporate. They were not prepared for this. Somewhere along the line, they have to think about how are they going to maintain their standard of living. Now it's no more environment science, it's geopolitics. It's a geopolitical system. So there are many ways to teach sustainability. Basically, you want to grab attention and pin them down. After that, I didn't have to explain the play. I didn't have to do any explanation. They saw the play and they went out absolutely stunned. I'm pretty sure I won't be invited there again. 